blue sky, turquoise sea, luxury hotels and roaring engines. Welcome to Monaco. For our latest city trip to the Princely Rock, we have put together an unforgettable program filled with shopping, beauty, art, gastronomy, luxury real estate and great bargains. We will stay at the superb Fairmont Hotel, the place to be, especially during the Monaco F1 Grand Prix. A little afternoon window shopping at the Metropole Shopping Monte Carlo, then a lunch break at Nobu, before setting off to discover the latest trends at Richard Mille. There's no shortage of art galleries in Monaco, but they are doing quite well thanks to an innovative concept that we will reveal to you later. A little parenthesis, there are bargains to be found, especially for watchmaking enthusiasts, by entering the Monaco Watch Company store on Boulevard des Moulins. Finally, if ever the idea of settling on the princely rock crossed your mind, this ideally located family apartment may well interest you. We will meet our specialist, Lydia Danimal, to take stock of the Monegasque real estate market. But for now, we head to the Fairmont Monte Carlo. It was in the early 1970s that construction of the hotel began, on the ground floor of Monaco's first train station. For this project, pharaonic at the time, the choice was to build a hotel in length rather than in height, on the edge of the Mediterranean Sea. A modern, seven-story building with unique architecture overlooking the waters of the Big Blue. The city lights. Let's lose the fear. It was Princess Grace of Monaco herself who inaugurated the hotel, then called the Loves Monte Carlo, in November 1975. A hotel which today has no less than 596 rooms, suites and apartments. Spa, casino and fitness center are among the essentials in this type of establishment. In summer, head to the rooftop for sunny days and wild moments at Nikki Beach. Watch out for sunburn, however. If you need a cream, we know the specialist in the industry in Monaco, whose products are proudly displayed in the Fairmont windows. Over in Fontvieille, two steps from the Stade Louis II, this is where the SED Heliabrine Laboratory develops its formulas. The story began in 1941 in Monaco when an American citizen, Virgil Neal, created the company SED, which then manufactured and sold the soaps according to the famous secret of the monks of Senanc. A few years later, SED joined the Acepta Aquilane Dermo Cosmetic Laboratories without Mr. Neal, but a real treasure trove. Après la guerre, uh, Monsieur Paul Lacroix lui succède. After the war, Paul Lacroix succeeded him and founded with his childhood friend Henry Mass the Acepta Labs. He met a pharmacist, Mr. Adam, who developed a soothing cream to relieve the feet of Monte Carlo croupiers. Neglected a little after the war, SED was integrated a few years later into the Acepta Lab, and it was in 1976 that we were the first company to reveal the benefits of shea butter in cosmetics and to launch the first Heliabrine care products in beauty salons. Since that time, the pharmacists and researchers of the brand have been constantly inspired by the plant world to extract what is most precious and place nature at the heart of care treatments. Here we are with the formulas. For example, in the sensitive and reactive skin line, the Melilo Bio, which we have selected for its anti-inflammatory and soothing properties. We also have, for example, in the oxygenating line, OxyDefense, for dull and tired skin. We selected the Ginkgo Biloba, the Lupine, and the Flower of Nopal, which is the cactus flower, which has an extraordinary power on cell renewal and oxygenation of the skin. A brand that has also based its reputation on its seriousness. In this ultra-modern cosmetic unit of more than 8,500 square meters meeting the latest European and international standards, quality controls are systematic at each stage of production for impeccable quality.
oily perfumes, Chinese camphor, shea butter or plant extracts. Here, nearly 350 raw materials are received, then placed in the quarantine zone, scrupulously checked, before being transferred to the storage zone for use. We have different departments. We have the quality control department. All the products are subjected to tests, rigorous product controls, at each stage of manufacturing and before placing them on the market. And we also have a department entirely dedicated to basic research. We also hold several patents, and some of our patents are behind the success of our formulas. This is the case of Eparzine 4A, an anti-aging agent, which has the capacity to preserve the main constituents of the dermis. And therefore, you find this in the Helixians line for mature skin and the Heliobrine wrinkle filler. Selected by estheticians from more than 30 countries, Helia Brine now offers more than 150 benchmarks for anti-aging, hydrating or soothing face and body treatments. Always striving to offer more natural formulas to the customer, for 2020 the brand has also imagined a new line called Helia Green, including formulas with 99% natural origins. All that remains is to choose the product that best suits your skin type. Now we return to the beating heart of the princely rock. Since 2019, Monte Carlo has been undergoing a little makeover. A stone's throw from the Place du Casino and the Hotel de Paris, a new district dedicated to luxury business and shopping has emerged. The One Monte Carlo. At the top of these very well-designed buildings are luxury apartments. Below, some of the most prestigious brands, Chanel, Fendi, Saint Laurent and other Louis Vuitton. During our walk, the rains have arrived, but in Monaco, there is always a place to go, especially when it comes to window shopping. So let's take shelter. We head to a majestic place, a few meters away, the Metropole Shopping Monte Carlo, a rare, chic shopping mall, it must be said. It's a majestic, cosmopolitan place of 15,000 square meters with 80 shops and five restaurants. It's a richesse. It's still a place with a certain richness, with, in addition, very, very noble materials. You see behind me the chandeliers, four meters high, three meters in diameter. If you look at the floor, which was cut by hand in the 80s in Carrera marble, there's something for everyone here. Men, women and children will find their happiness here without difficulty. Customers have a wide range of choices in many industries. Fashion, accessories, watch and jewellery houses. We can even take advantage of the many gourmet areas, a nail bar or even a hairdresser. Some customers are said to be happy to spend their whole day at the Metropole Shopping Centre Monte Carlo. And we understand why. The environment is conducive to pleasure and relaxation, it is true. Another style of relaxation is the beach. The princely rock may be small, but it does offer pretty seaside spots with fine sand and deck chairs. You can go swimming in the deep blue sea and enjoy the sun's rays between two shopping sessions or even before a quick lunch break. We return to the Fairmont, which, to our greatest delight, offers a wide choice of tasty experiences. In the kitchen, a French chef with a southwestern accent. Since September 2018, Didier Agnès, a best worker in France, likes to reinvent the menus of his restaurants. And with so many customers to satisfy, it's best not to be lacking in imagination. 
There are four restaurants with four different identities. There's Nobu for Japanese specialities. Nikki Beach up there with the swimming pool is more a place to relax and have a good time. Then we have the Horizon, a fish specialty place. And finally, the Safir restaurant with a French bistro, a little more cozy and friendly. What I want is above all the quality of the product, the freshness of the product, and the associations in the tastes, something that clicks. For example, a small mullet with squid and a small aioli in rock jus. That works well. It's a bit of a walk from the Fairmont to the Prince's Palace. The Place du Palais is often crowded with tourists, especially at the end of the morning during the changing of the guard. Every day at 11.55 a.m. precisely, the Prince's Carabinieri, dressed in black in winter and white in summer, put on their show. It is a solemn military ritual where coordination is essential. The Carabinieri Corps has the motto, Honor, Fidelity, Dedication. Since their creation on December the 8th, 1817, the Prince's Carabinieri's mission is notably to guard the palace, to watch over the security of His Serene Highness the Sovereign Prince and the princely family. Opposite the palace, sinking into old Monaco, you will discover small, narrow alleys leading to the picturesque Place Saint-Nicolas and Placette Bozio, as well as to the Palace of Justice, the Oceanographic Museum and the Cathedral, a Roman Byzantine building. Built in 1875 with white stones from La Turbie, it houses the graves of deceased princes. It was here that Prince Régnier III and Princess Grace of Monaco were married. The little train in the national colors takes its passengers daily for a guided tour where you will discover the port, Monte Carlo and its palaces, the famous casino and its gardens, before returning to the old town with its ramparts. The duration of the tour is 30 minutes. For our part, we will head down to the Casino Square in order to get to the Allée François Blanc. Chaumet, Versace, Hublot, luxury brands have invested in every inch of this very fashionable and ideal location. The genius watchmaker Richard Mille also made a good investment when he decided to set up shop here, because while at the time the craze for the brand was already pronounced, it has today certainly surpassed all his hopes. For each of its pieces, the waiting list just gets longer. The technology and materials used for the RM branded timepieces are no stranger to the brand's immense success. Richard Mille today uses materials that are not or rarely used in watchmaking. I'm talking about TPT carbon, crossed carbon. These are ultralight materials that are rather used in F1 to make a comparative and which are now used in watchmaking. And Richard Mille has this desire to use these materials to achieve exceptional products. To obtain one of these pieces, I'm sure you've already understood, you must be patient, especially since for a few years now, the brand has been doing everything to better control the production and distribution of its watches via the opening of shops under its own name. As for the models acclaimed by customers, there's no surprise, one iconic form always holds the upper hand among men. For the gentlemen, it's always barrel-shaped pieces. Here is an 1103 in TPT. So the TPT at Richard Mille can exist in several colors. Here it is a red 1103. There is also white, blue, or orange even, for Rafael Nadal. 
For two or three years, the women's pieces have been selling more and more. The one that sells best is the 0701, which we can see behind me. It's an 0701 in TPT carbon, the famous very light material that Richard Mille uses in his watches. Half set, TPT carbon, it's the iconic piece of the range. And while today the store is rather intimate and confidential, an enlargement project should soon see the light of day. And again on Allée François Blanc. In Monaco, art galleries are also full of exceptional pieces, and when we talk about the exceptional, Gianluca Gaudio is never far away. The works he offers in his gallery are just as incredible as the way he stages them. Mixer, microphone, camera, prompter, we are in a real TV studio. In front of the camera, Gianluca transmits the passion that drives him to all of his viewers, art lovers, especially in the realm of contemporary art. With Rubinstein, Basquiat or Jackson Pollock via Banksy or Mr. Brainwash, the place is full of treasures to be discovered in the gallery or on the big screen. We have a TV channel that works 24 hours a day in Italian, here in Monaco and on another channel in Italy. And we are also linked with Lux TV. We always present artists. We sell them. We sell them on TV. And customers who like to invest in the art world, they call us. They come to see them. They come to buy them. They start to enter the magic world of art. This is a new concept for Europe, but it is already well known in Italy. Meet Michelangelo Mirisi da Caravaggio. Born in 1571, the artist revolutionized Italian painting in the 17th century with the realism of his paintings and his innovative use of chiaroscuro. An exhibition called The Powers of Light will soon be dedicated to him at the Grimaldi Forum in Monaco. Caravaggio today is the most famous artist in the world, and especially the best paid in the world. And he is the king of ancient art, along with Leonardo da Vinci and Raffaello. So, for the first time in the Principality, we will have the pleasure of discovering a grand master, together with 12 original pieces and 25 pieces from the Caravaggio School, with the most important experts in the world, who are linked to our organization at an exhibition which will take place from July to September at the Grimaldi Forum in the Principality of Monaco. Please make note in your diary. The Powers of Light will be open from July the 17th to September the 15th, 2020 at the Grimaldi Forum. There's more information at www.caravaggioexhibition.com. A little higher up, on the heights of Monaco, on the border with France and the small village of Beausoleil, we arrive at number 36, Boulevard des Moulins. Here too, works of art are displayed in shop windows every day. They let us admire their beautiful mechanics, and some are very complex. Patek Philippe, Rolex, Audemars Piquet and Richard Mille. When we talk about rare watches with endless waiting lists, it's always an idea to have a look at a second-hand store. Monaco Watch Company is a company where we buy and sell luxury second-hand watches, in particular pieces that are usually difficult to find in local shops. So at the moment we have a beautiful collection of Patek Philippe Nautilus. We have many Daytonas, Batman, Pepsi, really pieces that are difficult to find in stores, which we manage to buy and sell at prices that can beat the competition. Founded in 2012 by Sergei Kruglikov and his brother Alexander, the Monaco Watch Company is today a reference in the world of second-hand watches, which is a booming market. Buying at the same price as the others, or even a little higher, and reselling below the market price with reduced margins is the rather simple idea, a win-win situation that seems to satisfy everyone.
I think we can boast of being among the cheapest in the world on many products. We work with margins small enough to be able to sell more and to be able to satisfy more customers. This means that the stock at Monaco Watch Company is generally 200 watches at all times, with a shelf life of one to two months maximum for the watches. With a princely rock of only two square kilometers, it is not difficult to sell to more than just the local customers. The thinking heads of the Monaco watch company therefore turned to the development of the web business. Very easy to use, an online shopping service is now available to individuals. If the person is not in Monaco, via our site, we can still buy a watch anywhere and ship a watch anywhere too. A customer who wants to sell his watch on our site, he has a section to sell his watch. He must fill in a few fields. We then give him a pre-estimate of the price. Then we arrange delivery of the watch to our premises. When we receive the watch, we do a full analysis. And there we confirm, or not, the purchase offer that has been made. Then we buy the watch and pay the customer directly by bank transfer. And while being located in Monaco is enough to reassure many buyers, quality control in the process of checking parts in the store remains exemplary. We check the water resistance of the watch. We check that it is working properly, that it does not gain or lose too many seconds per day. The acceptable range is plus or minus five seconds per day for watches. We also check the power reserve of the watch, because if it is supposed to be 48 hours, it must last at least 48 hours. We check everything before putting it on sale. We'll reserve two Nautilus and a Richard Mille RM010. Thank you very much. Sadly, the clock is ticking, so we leave Boulevard des Moulins for one of the most prestigious places in Monaco, Boulevard de Suisse. It's at La Villa de Rome that we have an appointment with our specialist in luxury real estate. To explain it all, Lydia Danimal chose an apartment for sale that is ideally located, especially when you are a fan of yachting. Monaco is very attractive because it's home to very, very important world events, in particular the Formula One Grand Prix and the Monaco Yacht Show, an emblematic event where all the wealthiest people in the world meet here in Monaco. This apartment here offers a breathtaking view of Port Hercules and from where we have an absolutely spectacular and breathtaking view of the Monaco Yacht Show. There's a terrace of almost 60 square meters which offers real added value to this apartment of approximately 400 square meters, fully furnished, decorated and ready to move in. A very high-end service that perfectly matches the standing of the building. One of the peculiarities of this very luxurious building is that it offers absolutely fantastic services, including a 24-hour concierge, exceptional parking and a breathtaking view. It has just been completely redone and you have a very noble list of materials, in particular, very luxurious marriages of marble. You have a completely art deco style which marries with a very interesting contemporary style. You have a herringbone parquet in solid oak and of course a breathtaking view of Monaco and the sea. You have three large bedrooms, including a royal suite, and two other suites, which complete the apartment. It's an apartment that's spacious and fully equipped, which offers the most total luxury. But luxury comes at a price, 55 million euros. That's only for true fans. This is how our stay in the Principality ends. We'll take advantage of our last evening to drop a few chips on the tables of the emblematic Monte Carlo Casino. Who knows if we will come out as a millionaire? <laughs>